Hi, this is Toby. Today's class is going to be focusing on the abs, a little bit of strength, a little bit of core work, uh, but the point is to help you to feel more confident in yourself and in your practice and in your daily life to feel a little bit more powerful, our power over ourselves, maybe a little bit of over our emotions and our thoughts, uh, more than a power over someone else. So I hope you enjoy and we'll end with a little bit of a meditation. Thanks. So let's start by lying on our backs, breathing fully from the belly all the way up to the top of the lungs. Exhaling back down. And yeah, you can start with your hand or hands on your belly and begin to envision a beautiful light here. Our third chakra, that Manipura chakra, our power center. So whatever kind of light you like to envision here. With each, each breath, it fills your body. Exhaling out what you don't need. And inhaling as you fill with confidence and fill with that light. So on your next inhale, let's reach the arms over, how to reach through the toes and exhale, bring the knees in. Maybe you want to bring your head in. We'll inhale for that two way stretch. Once again, exhale, tuck it in, keep breathing fully. Inhale, stretch it out one more time and exhale, hug the knees in. So go ahead and plant your feet about hip distance apart or a little wider and exhale. We'll bring the knees over to your right and you might gaze over to the left. You can cactus the arms or you can leave them straight out. But do keep breathing. Inhale your gaze and knees back to center and then just exhale them over to your left and you might gently gaze to the right. Just trying to get that twist from the very center of the body. And on your inhale, let's bring the knees and gaze back to center. Again, you might windshield wiper your knees a little bit. And then plant your hands with your palms down near your hips. And we're going to take the inhale for just a mini bridge pose as you lift the hips and exhale them back down. So we're going to do this a few times. Keep pressing the feet down into the mat. Keep engaged through the thighs and keep your shins pressing forward. So go ahead and do a couple more. Trying to feel each vertebrae as you lift and then lower. And let's do one more. And then you might go ahead and uh, bring your knees in 
You can grab behind the thighs and we're going to start to rock and roll forward a couple times coming up so you can feel your sits bones on the mat and you might need to move the meat away from your seat a little bit. You can bring your hands down and come to your tippy toes. And on your inhale, just go ahead and lift your right leg. Exhale it back down and inhale the left leg and exhale, touch the toes back down. So we're going to do this a couple times. You might be able to keep your thighs uh, level with each other. Maybe you're just hovering the toe tips. Keep lifted through the chest. And we're going to turn it into a boat pose. So you might reach your arms forward or you could hold behind the legs. And you can straighten the knees or leave them bent. But again, try not to hunch through the chest. Make sure you can breathe in any version you have here. And then we're just going to exhale, cross the ankles and extend back into your table pose. So start with a nice flat back. Bandas are engaged, our pelvic floor and lower belly. And we'll take some cat cow. So inhale the head and tailbone and go ahead and exhale round the spine, tuck the chin. And we'll do a few more like this, coming through neutral with as much length as you can before rounding. So we do want to make sure the shoulders are directly over the wrists, hips are directly over the knees. So then we come to a neutral spine. So take an inhale to kick back your right leg. Maybe you peek down to see if your hip can be even with your left hip. And go ahead and add the left arm for a table balance. And exhale, let's tuck knee to elbow. Inhale, lift a little bit higher than the hip now. And exhale, tuck it in. So we'll take a few more like this. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, tuck. Engage those abs as you tuck. Inhale, lift, exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, lift, exhale, tuck. Inhale, lengthen as much as you can and exhale. This time we're going to step that right foot forward into a low lunge. Let the hips sink. And on an inhale, we'll lift up through the arms. Exhale, lean back as you cactus the arms. So feel the shoulder blades coming towards each other. Feel your heart open. The belly is exposed, so that's okay. You might gaze up if it's okay for the, the back of the neck. So breathe fully here. Inhale, lift up through the arms. And exhale the hands down, curl your back toes under, lift your left knee. And then we're going to step all the way back to a three-legged dog as you stack the right hip open over the left. And on an exhale, we're just going to come back through your table pose, nice and neutral. All right, so the bandas are engaged and on your inhale, we'll kick back the left leg, flex the foot, hips are even. And then you may add the right arm. So be nice and active through that left arm as well, left shoulder, lengthen on your inhale and exhale. Once again, let's tuck it in. Inhale, when we lift a little bit higher, that's going to give us a little bit of strength on the lower back, which is actually uh, helpful for our core as well. It might not seem like it, but uh, that strengthening is going to help us to stay nice and stable. And on your exhale this time, we'll step the left foot through. Go ahead and assist it if you need to. 
and inhale, we'll raise the arms and exhale, we'll bend the elbows. We're trying to keep maybe the elbows up by the shoulders. Feeling your openness here. Inhale, lift the arms back up. Exhale, plant the hands, curl the right toes under, and here we go all the way into our three-legged dog. You can lift that left hip over the right, just getting a nice side body stretch. And exhale back through your downward facing dog this time. And go ahead and, uh, you know, maybe find your down dog, spread the fingers. Maybe you want to bend the knee or knees. And then we're going to have a little bit, maybe a little bit of a tuck of the lowest ribs. And on an exhale, we'll bring the feet towards the hands for your forward fold. Maybe your feet are hip distance. Inhale, lift the arms up to a T halfway and exhale, fold it in. So we're going to do this a few times. Inhales, get your lift and exhale, relax the neck into your fold. So inhale, belly engages, gaze goes forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, exhale, drop it down. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. This time on your inhale, we're gonna circle the arms all the way up. You might get a little bit of a back bend and exhale the hands to your prayer samastiti. Let the shoulders roll back. Now let's take the palms forward in our mountain pose, Tadasana. So here we go. We're going to get ready for some variations on a sun salutation. So you can come back to that vision of your light at the belly. Inhale, lift the arms. You might lift the gaze. Exhale, hinge forward into your fold. Inhale, halfway, hands come to the shins or the floor. And on your exhale, step back to the top of your push-up. Hold here, belly is engaged. We're not dumping into the shoulders. And on your next exhale, oh, we're going to hold this time. So the pelvic floor is engaged, the lower belly is engaged. On your exhale, let's try to lower halfway down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale into your down dog. You can still be playing around with your down dog. Make it uh, feel comfortable, but you're still engaging through the arms, spreading through the fingers to try to get a little bit of uh, pressure off the wrists. Head is somewhere uh, that feels good for your neck. You can dangle it. You can have your ears in line with the arms. Take an exhale to step walk or maybe bend your knees deeply to float the feet to the hands. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, circle the arms up. You might gaze up only if it's okay for the neck. Exhale, samastiti. Okay, here we go. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale to your fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, here we go, to the top of your push-up once again. You might gaze forward. Exhale, we're going to bring the heels over to the right. Inhale them to center. Exhale them over to the left. A little twist. Inhale to center. Exhale, be sure to shift forward before you lower halfway down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale into your down dog. Let's breathe. Now 
If it's too much on the upper body, you can have your feet a little wider than hip distance or maybe a lot wider than hip distance. And that'll bring a little pressure off the shoulders. All right, exhale, step walk or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root into the feet as you rise up. Gaze up. Exhale, samastiti, hands to heart center. Yeah, roll those shoulders back. And on your inhale, lift up, hastasana, hand pose. Exhale, uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to the top of your push-up once again. On your inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, lower the foot down. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, stretch it back. And exhale, plant it down. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and take your vinyasa, lowering down or halfway down or to knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. This time, let's take an inhale to lift the heels and exhale them both over to the right. Keep pressing the hips up and back. Inhale through center. Exhale them over to the left. Inhale to center. And exhale, breathe. Find where you can lengthen. And find where you can strengthen. So maybe through the arms. Getting some length in the side body all the way to the hips. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step walk or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale, we'll lift the arms back up. Exhale, samastiti. Breathe. Hands to heart center. And inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, into your fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your push-up. All right, so let's exhale to the right forearm and then the left. Inhale to the right hand and the left. Exhale down to the left forearm and then the right. And inhale to the left hand and the right. All right, exhale, take your vinyasa or skip it. It's your practice. Who cares? Do what you need to. So you really get confident in following your own intuition. That's what this class is about. So if your down dog looks more like a table, good, good for you. As long as you're honoring your practice, your body today. All right, exhale, make your way to your fold. Inhale, turn it into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath. And on your inhale, lift up through the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or hop back. And this time we're just going to come right into our vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Lift through the chest. Shoulders roll back. Exhale, down dog. All right, so let's do our knee touches now. Inhale, lift your uh, left, right leg. Sorry, right leg. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, knee to nose. Go ahead, round that upper back. Yes, inhale, lift. And exhale, cross the right knee to the left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog one more time. And exhale, step it forward, getting ready for your warrior one. So inhale, raise the arms. 
then try to relax the shoulders down away from the ears at the same time. So stretch through the fingers, go ahead and dip it in if you need to feel a little something in that front thigh. And on your exhale, we're going to turn it into a warrior two. So go ahead and get narrow on the mat so the front foot and the left arch are in a line. Arms are to a T and you can gaze off of your middle right finger. So a nice, strong, confident warrior, ready to face whatever it is that you need to face. You can. Exhale, turn your toes to the side of the mat and go ahead and grab your hands or forearms behind your back. Inhale, lift. And exhale, take it into your fold here. And just try to relax your neck. Relax the back of your neck. Hands may or may not come off of the lower back. And we're going to try to get the palms to touch each other. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Maybe they will in the future, maybe they won't. And just try to uh, be aware that your knees are not locked out. So then on an inhale, we're going to lift back up. You might lean back. And exhale to neutral. Let's go ahead and release the wrists. And bring your arms back to a T. So just through a warrior two, re-bend the front knee. Inhale, lift the right arm up and back. Feel the side body stretch. And exhale, windmill the hands down. And we're going to turn it right into a side plank. So you can lift up your right arm, the right leg off the left. And exhale, now we'll take it into a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bandas are still engaged. Just go ahead and reset here. And inhale, the left leg goes up and back. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. And exhale, cross it over towards your right elbow. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, step forward and plant the right heel down and back for your warrior one. So uh, you do want to make sure that the front knee is not going to bow inward or outward. We don't want it to go beyond uh, the ankle. Go ahead and dip it down if you need to, if you like to. Facing our, maybe our fears head on. Exhale, getting into your warrior two. We're getting on our imaginary tightrope. Arms are nice and strong to a T. We're trying to have the shoulders over the hips. Gaze can be forward. So breathe here. You are strong. You are powerful. Inhale, straighten the knee. Toes turn towards the side of the mat. This time bring your hands to your hips. And as you inhale, lean back. Open it up. And exhale, hinge forward. Just hinging at the hips. You might grab the big toes with the peace fingers. And inhale halfway to get that length and exhale take your length into your fold so yeah your elbows might be starting to bend out to the sides a little bit as you're gently pulling yourself down again we're not trying to hyper extend the legs here so keep a little bit of strength in the thighs So breathe here. You can kind of let go of something you don't need. All right, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, all the way up. You can lean back. Exhale to a neutral spine. And we're just going to come through that warrior too. So go ahead and rebend into the left knee. And we're going to reverse our warrior. So inhale, left arm lifts, lengthen that left side of the body. You might gaze up. And exhale, windmill the hands down. You're going to step it back. 
And we're going to take that side plank, modified side plank on the right arm with the left arm lifted. Exhale, come through your plank, chaturanga, up dog, inhale, exhale, down dog. All right, we're breathing here. Bandhas are still engaged. Letting go of any tension through the back of the neck, the jaw. No worries, no stress. Inhale, gaze between your thumbs. And exhale, bend the knees deeply. And this time we're going to jump through to a seat or, you know, just get there however is possible. So find your way onto the sits bones again. You don't want to be slumping into the lower back. So go ahead and keep the hands down if you like and lift the legs. You can grab behind the thighs, lift through the chest or go ahead and reach the arms forward for your boat pose. Navasana. Legs can be bent or straight. Maybe you're gonna be shaking here, but that's okay. We're just gaining some strength. Exhale, plant the hands down behind the hips, plant the feet down hip distance, and inhale, here we go to our reverse table. You may or may not let the head drop back. You can have the hips down here as well if you like. Just feel a little bit of extension through the collarbones. Keep the thighs engaged, shins pressing forward. Inhale, tuck the chin. And exhale, bring the sitting bones back down. All right, so version two, inhale, lift into your boat, arms and legs. Exhale, we're going to twist to the right. You might be able to gaze behind you. Inhale, just come through center. Exhale, arms to the left. Inhale, lift, exhale into your shallow boat, your canoe, inhale, boat pose, and exhale. This time, if you like to extend your legs out to lift the hips, you can. Uh, some people call this reverse plank or our eastern stretch. Head may or may not drop back. Or you can take it as a reverse table here again. Press out of the shoulders and on your exhale, let's sit the sitting bones back down. So for our third one, go ahead and lift into your boat. Exhale the arms to a T to the right and we're going to try to lean over a little bit more onto the left sitting bone. So we get a little bit more of a twist here. It might be a little bit awkward, but we're just going to try to breathe through it, breathe with it. Inhale, take it to center and exhale it over to the other side. And we're going to come to trying to shift your weight onto that right sits bone. Maybe you can lift the left a little bit. Who knows? We can get awkward. Inhale, back up to center and exhale, plant the hands once again. And you can, yeah, just lift the chest if you like. Take get that reverse table or reverse plank. Inhale, tuck the chin and exhale, sit it back down. All right, this time we're just going to come through our boat, cross your ankles, step or shoot your feet back to the top of your push up and exhale, lower down. Inhale, up dog, and exhale for down dog one more time. All right, one more series in our downward facing dog. All right, so yeah, let's first take our child's pose. Go ahead and relax the belly down towards the floor. Maybe you want to, yeah, grab each wrist or roll the wrist. Just get a little, little release of the wrist here. So take an exhale to release anything that um, keeps you from feeling confident. It could be something somebody said in the past. Some dumb crap. It doesn't matter. It's not the truth. 
Inhale through your table pose and now we'll exhale into our down dog. All right, inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, cross it over towards the left elbow. Tuck, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tuck again. We're gonna extend the right leg out towards the left. And inhale, you can lift up your uh, left arm for our fallen angel. Maybe you wanna take yeah, your hand to your heart. Try to keep the hips lifted. Maybe you're dropping the head back. And exhale, plant the hand. We're gonna come back, try to come back all the way through your three-legged dog. And then if it suits you, you can flip your dog. Otherwise, just keep that hip rolling open. That's fine. Lifting up through the right arm, lift those hips. Maybe you wanna roll your arm around in circles here. Exhale, start to flip it back over, lift up through that right leg and exhale, set the foot back down, right foot back down. All right, other side, inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, left knee to right elbow, get a little tuck, inhale, lift, and exhale, like you're gonna do it again, but extend that left leg out, you can plant the foot down, inhale, open up the right arm, the chest, again, you might bring your hand to your heart, Head may or may not drop back, depending on how your neck feels. And exhale, plant the hand. We're gonna to try to lift the foot all the way back up through your three-legged dog. And again, you can keep this hip stacked here or flip your dog and lift up through the left arm. Open it up, feel nice and strong through the right shoulder. And here we go, exhale back through your three-legged dog and inhale and into your down dog. All right, so let's come down through our table pose. And we're gonna start to walk the hands forward into our puppy pose. So you're gonna try to keep the hips stacked over the knees. You could have your face on the mat or you could maybe start to bring your chin towards the mat if the neck allows it. And you might just be on your fingertips. Maybe your forearms are even lifted off the mat. That's just a variation. But if this is too much, you can always uh, bring the hips a little bit back towards the heels. All right, inhale, we're gonna come through our table pose and let's get our little bit of our thread the needle, our twist. So go ahead and plant your left hand to the center of the mat. Inhale, the right arm up and exhale. Come to the right shoulder blade, right side of the face. You could see how it feels to stretch out through the left arm or go ahead and yeah, plant your left hand behind the lower back just to gently uh, open up that left shoulder without cranking it. And then just try to re-relax the back of the neck, the right side of the neck, the, the whole face. And you can kind of shift your hips if you need to, to find your tightest spot in the back of the right shoulder blade. Inhale, you can lift the right or sorry, your left hand back up and exhale, plant it down. Inhale, re-reach up through that right arm and exhale into your neutral table. Inhale, we're gonna lift the left arm up. And on your exhale, we're gonna thread the needle on this side. Again, you can adjust your hips. Adjust where you want your right arm, reaching it forward, reaching it behind the back, or maybe it's something else today. Maybe you wanna just leave your right hand underneath the right shoulder.
On an inhale, lift the right arm back up. Exhale, plant the right hand back down. And inhale, we'll lift back up through the left arm. And exhale back through your neutral table. All right, you can cross your ankles and sit back over them to your seat or however you need to get there. We'll take a Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. And exhale, we're going to try to take that length as you fold. Now, you might fold a little, you might fold a lot, but we want to stay nice and lengthened all the way uh, through the spine, all the way to the top of the head. So you can start gently pressing your elbows into the inner thighs or your knees, if that is okay for your knees. Your feet could be out a little further in front of you if that is um, more appropriate. Little variations. Inhale, back up to center. And on our exhale, we're just going to roll onto the back. Hug the knees in. And then we're going to bend the knees like you're sitting in a chair uh, with your feet flexed. And bring your hands behind the head. So on an exhale, we're just going to get a little crunch, tuck it in. On your exhales, inhales, flatten out. So we want to try to keep the uh, elbows pointing out towards the sides. We want to try to just lift the upper back off the mat. Just doing a few yoga crunches. So not as fast as we can, taking our full exhale to crunch and our full inhale to flatten back out. And then when you're done, we're just going to bend the knees in once again. You can roll a little bit side to side or some circles just to release any tension in the lower back. And then we're going to plant the feet again, hip distance apart. Stay active again through the thighs. And on an inhale, here we go, lift the hips. And this time, if you'd like, roll the shoulders under and you can clasp your own hands for your bridge or go ahead and reach towards the heels. So we want to activate through the thighs, by which I mean, uh, like you want to, as if you're squeezing a ball between your knees. So we're not letting the uh, thighs flop out to the side, in other words. Exhale, release your hands and go ahead and release the hips down. Maybe you want a windshield wiper a little bit. And then we're going to plant the hands underneath the hips and just take the legs straight up. So you can flex the feet in this version. I'm going to take a few breaths here. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed, all the facial muscles are relaxed. Breath stays nice and even. Giving her a little bit of an inversion here. All right, here we go. Exhale, bring the, uh, the feet about a halfway down, so about a, at a 45 degree angle. Breathe, keep trying to press the lower back down. On your next exhale, bring them down a little bit more so they're floating off the floor. <laughs> Mine look like they're about a foot off the floor here, but if you can float them a couple inches off the mat, that'll be good too. Keep breathing. If you have any shaking, that's okay. And exhale, go ahead and flatten out. Ah. So once again, you might like to windshield wiper the knees just to relax and release the lower back once again. And then if you like, we're going to take a final twist. So you can uh, bring the right knee over the left, letting both uh, knees drop to the left as you gaze to the right. Your arm could be straight or could be bent at the elbow. Just twisting out any, um, any 
further crap that you don't need. Maybe somebody had said something long ago to uh, make you not feel confident. We can let that go. Inhale, knees to center. Exhale, drape the left knee. And drop them over to the right as you gaze left. So everyone has their opinions. That doesn't mean that you're not capable of shining your true nature. We don't have to hide it. We don't have to have secret parts. Inhale, knees come back to center. Unwind the legs. And we're going to maybe take a reclined Baddha Konasana here if you like. Bring the soles of the feet together if that's comfortable. And let's bring the hands to the belly. So bring your mind back to that fire in your belly. What does it feel like? Is there a color that comes up? Is it a spark, a candle, a bonfire, the sun, a star? Let it burn away anything that keeps you feeling, uh, keeps you from feeling free. You are beautiful and you are part of the divine. Let this light just fill your body, burning out anything negative. And you can stay there or when and if you like, go ahead and assist your knees back up to center. And then we're going to come right into Shavasana. So maybe the palms are up. Feet are relaxed, your entire body is relaxed and soft and bright and full. And we'll take our time here to take rest.
right, so we'll start to make a little bit of movements. Now maybe you just like to bring your hands to your belly for a moment. Come back to a nice long breath here, envisioning your light once again. And on each inhale, you can send that light further and further down your limbs, up to your crown of your head, to all parts of your body. And then you might like to reach your arms over your head, reaching your toes to the front. And exhale, let's hug the knees in towards your chest. We're just going to rock and roll over onto your favorite side. Maybe it's your right side, said to be our confident side, our masculine side. Taking a moment to uh, take a moment for gratitude for yourself. And go ahead and press yourself up to a comfortable seat once again. And let's take a moment here. We're going to come to a little bit of a mantra, some mantras. So you can place your hands wherever they're comfortable. All right, so I am confident. I am capable. I am powerful. I can, with awareness, Take charge of my feelings, my emotions, my thoughts. Replacing those thoughts that are uh, unhelpful with ones that are helpful. So take your hands together at the heart center. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. So thank you for sharing that practice today with me and I hope that you will go about your day feeling a little bit more confident, uh, feeling your uh, inner light, your inner power, and your inner beauty. Uh, so thanks and hopefully I'll see you soon.